We're going to bring you the latest from Nottingham after university students Barnaby Webber and Grace O'Malley Coomer, along with a 65 year old man, Ian Coates, were killed in the early hours of Tuesday morning. Yes, a vigil is being held in the city tonight to remember the victims of the fatal attacks. Police have been granted more time to question the accused. It now revealed it was a former University of Nottingham student. Well, Bradley is in Nottingham for us now. Bradley, a tragic event, as we've been seeing over the last day with the vigil yesterday as well. Uh, these events really bringing the city together, aren't they? That's right, Julian, yeah, and this... Really, this atmosphere right now, this sombre atmosphere, just shows how this is still a city in mourning. But all this week, as you say, people have been coming together. And what better example of that than this? A vigil that is set to take place in around 10 minutes' time at 5.30, with a minute's silence for the three people who died at 6 o'clock tonight. All day today, people from all over Manchester, London and the people here in the city itself have been leaving messages on the steps of the city council building with a big banner that reads one city hashtag Nottingham together. Suella Braverman, the Home Secretary, also arrived earlier today to pay her respect. She left a message again on the steps with hundreds of other people. There's even been people turning up right now. You can see them dotted around in the crowd. People wearing red Nottingham Forest shirts in solid Solidarity with Ian Coates, the 65-year-old caretaker who sadly died in the early hours of Tuesday morning. His sons said that he was a die-hard Nottingham Forest fan. And earlier, I caught up with people who showed up today to pay their respects. Lovely. It's really touching. Lots of people coming down and the banner as well, yeah. It shows we're all together. I said, we are part of Nottingham. Let's go. I told let's go. I finished work at 2. I said, let's go. And I put my forest shirt and I came. I'm an ex-student, I used to work there. My husband is an ex-student, my daughter studies there. So it, it kind of, it, this kind of thing tonight will really bring the community together in solidarity to say this has been a horrific event for the city, but we come together and we say that this kind of evil will not um, bring us down. We're a strong city and we'll come together. Uh, Bradley, it's extraordinary to see the number of people who've come out today uh, in to pay tribute in solidarity. In terms of the investigation, though, uh, what have police said so far? Well, that man, that 31-year-old man who remains in custody after being arrested on suspicion of murder, uh, he has now been uh, uh, said to be a, a former Nottingham University student, although the police uh, are keen to say that this has no connection with the two students who died on Tuesday morning. Right now, they are trying to build a bigger picture of what's happened using CCTV footage, eyewitness accounts, and of course, the dramatic footage we saw earlier in the week of police raiding buildings on Ilkeston Road, where they shut off large sections of that area earlier this week. Uh, so right now, investigations are continuing. For the public, they are gathering here today on what is another emotional day for the city of Nottingham.